Hi everyone, my name is Alexander Schmidt and I am showing you today the newest spam thing. So at the moment I get a lot of spam emails with some kind of greeting, a call to action and a link. And then a regular email confirmation message which says I need to confirm the email to be subscribed to the email list. So this is the latest spam trend in 2022. It occurred, I don't know, a few days ago. And in our company, a lot of clients suffered from spammers like these using their emails. So if somebody had 30,000 emails per month, they were just eaten up by spammers like that. So they are coming, subscribing their list onto your double opt-in and use your emails. So let's see how this works and how you can avoid exactly that. Okay, so this is how it looks. You have some emails like that. They can be nasty, they can be naughty, they can be like win the super lotto and so on and so forth. So emails like this with a clickbait and a link. So it looks at the beginning like that. You have your landing page and on the landing page you have your opt-in form and people should subscribe with their first name, last name, email. So this gives us a message with the double opt-in email. So within the double opt-in email, the email would be built like this. So you have like hello, then first name placeholder and the last name placeholder. And this gives the spammer two possible placeholders to put some random text into this email. So usually it would look like this. If I would sign up with my name, Alex Hammerschmidt, the email would look like that. But in this case, when a spammer signs up to it, it would look like, hello, then click here to see hot pictures from Sophie and a link. And this looks like that. So the spammer comes, takes a look, how is the double opt-in email built? and how many placeholders do I have? And if there is one placeholder, they would put everything into the first name. And if there are two placeholders, like first and last name, they would put the first name, the call to action, and for the last name, they would use the link. So this is how they get free emails, because the double opt-in email is going to be sent immediately with every system. And if you don't have a fraud system in place, some kind of honeypot or capture or something like this, your system would just send out thousands and thousands, even hundred thousands of emails. It depends how good the list is. So if the list from the spammer is really good, they will produce very few bounces and you have a blast of spam getting into the inboxes. If the list is really bad, you have a lot of bounces and most likely your provider would just close the doors and just say, okay, you are producing a lot of bounces at the moment, so we shut your system down. This is what usually happens. So the list of, an, of a spammer is usually not the best one. But anyway, you will send at least 50,000 emails or something. So what you can do to avoid exactly this behavior and to avoid your email list um, being abused or your opt-in forms being abused is you need to build a hidden honeypot or you need to build a trap system for a bot or for a spam bot. So first of all, we can create a hidden honeypot. I will show you how to do this in a second in Mautic, in the most amazing marketing automation tool. So you can build a honeypot. A honeypot is usually one a text field inside your form, which is not displayed, but it's still there. So a bot doesn't understand that the honeypot is there. So it would put in something. And with this in place, you can just say afterwards, okay, everybody who filled out the honeypot gets deleted immediately. So this is one possibility you could do. The second one would be you can add a capture. A 
capture is usually some kind of question and you need to solve the question. And there are capture plugins from Google. There is reCAPTCHA with almost every marketing automation system. You can insert a capture, but I personally don't like capture because it raises the bar for people to sign up. And the third possibility, which would be very, very, very disappointing sometimes because you cannot uh, use first names or personalization, would be just to ask for the email and nothing else. Here, you can only insert email addresses, you can't insert anything else. So this would be another possibility to only ask for the email. So then a spam bot can't do anything and can't abuse your system. So, but let's assume you want to do this. I can show you how to do this in Maltic. So Maltic is, in my opinion, the best marketing automation system. You can get Maltic at Hartmut.io fully managed with your desired email plan. And from there, you could just go to your components and create a new form. I need to log in again. Expired, so I need to create a new form. So I have one here already, newsletter registration. How to do a newsletter registration? I'm going to cover this on the channel. Maybe I already did, so take a look around in the channel. And inside the form, you would have some fields like first name, last name, email, and of course, a submit button. So let's edit this form. So let's go here to the fields. Your first name, last name, email, and submit. Of course, you can change this to whatever you like and however you want to call them. And from here, I would put in another thing, would be email. And I would just call this email too. And then I need to link it to a custom field. So in this case, I don't have a custom field available, so I need to create a honeypot first. Open error, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so I'm going to build a custom field, which is here on the right top corner. There is the cogwheel, you go in there, then on custom fields, and then you would build a new field right here. Click on new, we build another one, honeypot. I just call it Honeypot 2 just to show you how to do it. And it's text type, so it can take everything, which is quite neat. Otherwise, it would not take any other character if it's not an email. So it's good to take everything actually. And then I would just put this in professional and save and close that. So now we can go back to our forms, inside newsletter registration, edit, fields and inside the fields I will put another field again. So email and I'll call this email too. And the contact field now is the honeypot. In this case honeypot 2 and validation it's not required but it needs to be there. So if I would just save this I can preview the form now. So I have two emails and obviously I don't want to show this honeypot. So I need to change this again. So I go back and edit the, the field again. So I go to fields and inside this email, I go and edit and with attributes, I add the field container attribute with style equals display none. This is what you need to type, update. And now you don't see it anymore. You have it here. So you can drag it where, wherever you want to have it. So I would just put it in here, or let's put it in here above the actual email. So the bot would usually come and say, okay, first name, input, last name, input, email, input, and then email input again. So it got trapped. So save and close this. And now if I preview it again, you can see it's not seeable for the human eye, but for the bot's eye, it's there. So this is the quickest way to create a honeypot. And from there, you can put the form on your page. If you have forms already built with Mautic, 
I would suggest to create a honeypot for them. It doesn't change anything in the appearance of your form. So do this. It's definitely worth watching out for that because spam bots can cause a blazing load of mails and money and pain and people not trusting your email list. So do this. I hope you can learn something from this email, uh, from this video. And if you're new to your channel, subscribe and like the video and put in the comments if you had problems like that or if you saw another abuse system like this. It would be very interesting for me to make a video about it. So just let me know. And also let me know in the comments if you liked the video and if you could learn something. And I'm looking forward to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.